Hello guys, it is the Sun Sage and thank you so much for tuning in. This is a general collective read. I'm getting a feel for the energies to see what comes through for you guys um, regarding your connections, all right? Um, I haven't done one of these style of readings in a very long time, but it's kind of a you versus your person general, all right? So I wanted to kind of see where your energy is right now and where your person's energy is. It's not a very long reading, but it's just some sort of um, feel, some sort of check-in. Um, to see where you guys are, if there's any um, anything encouraged coming through here for you guys to do any sort of advice or anything that can sort of give you some insight into what's happening right now in your connection. All right. So I'm going to grab a few general messages, themes to see what comes through for you, your person and then mutually. All right. So let's see what's going on for you when it comes to this connection. Um, how is how is the collective feeling about their connections at this time? All right, how is the collective feeling about their connections with their person at this time? All right, open up. Okay, all right, let's grab, let's see, where else, do we, what else we got? You have hope, okay? I really like this energy <laughs> so far, right? It's not done, but I really like this energy coming through. I feel like you guys are positive. I feel like you guys are optimistic right now passion and this is why um i think you've proven that you're incredibly passionate about the person that you're connected to and so if there's any doubt <laughs> you know um i feel like you're wanting to clear that up with this person you know if you had to set up uh, set some boundaries um you weren't trying to push them away you were trying to you know help them um understand your needs a little better um i do feel like you guys are giving off a nurturing energy um let's see where your person is when it comes to this in, uh connection what are their feelings what is their energy when it comes to this connection all right for the collective where's your person at fear okay that's not too shocking all right where's your person spark okay okay i'll take it and balance all right so your person, you know, this is kind of a, a you know, storyline we've seen before, but I feel like your person is um, on the verge of embracing and accepting this connection with passion and with excitement. And then there's this, the, then there's a side of them that is still scared, right? They're still afraid. They feel what you feel. It's mutual. Let me see what mutual energies come up for y'all. Let's see why we have mutual, what we have mutually for you and your person. We have memories, okay? Okay, so there's a lot of nostalgia going on in the collective. You and your person are replaying um, these really sweet, loving moments with each other. Security. That could be somewhat of a security blanket, right? That could be something that makes you feel comfortable and safe, especially if you haven't heard from your person. Um, this is your way of healing. Yes, healing. This is your way of connecting to them um, outside of like the physical connection, outside of like the verbal connecting, all right? That conversation conversation that feels like it needs to happen. So um, for you guys, you have open up. I feel like this is coming through because the way you feel about your person is you just want them to be more open with it, with you. You want them to express more how they feel about you. You want them to lean more on leading with their heart rather than leading so much with the fear that we do see coming up here, right? A lot of you have taken your hands off of the situation. Um, you're trying to give them space you're definitely respecting um that they may not as be as advanced on this journey yeah the seven of pentacles this is an understanding that my person is going to take a lot more or a little more um time than i am you know to accept and embrace this connection and so i'm going to give them that space that they need right i feel like a lot of you have been waiting a very long time for this person to fully open up to you but there have been some gains over the past couple of months and years for some of you all right i feel like what you're dealing with is patience that's a lot of that happens um, in this collective journey, right? Um, you are dealing with people who are not on the same level as you, who are not ready for what you are ready for or what you seem to be ready for. And I feel like it's um, it's like a blessing in disguise, right? Um, if you have someone unhealed, um, King of Wands here, if you have someone unhealed and not ready to invest and commit, then what you're going to get is a player. What you're going to get is somebody who's inconsistent. And so I feel like a lot of you are waiting for this person to truly um, become this confident 
um, confident lover. <laughs> okay. This lover that is not just about, you know, um, connecting physically and showing their prowess in a physically intimate way, but somebody who's also comfortable with getting closer to you, um, in a non-sexual intimate way, right? Um, touching, cuddling, expressing, right? You guys are waiting for this person to sort of let their guard down. And I feel like it's, it feels like it's taken a really long time, right? Um, you know that they have a lot of passion for you. This King of Wands leaves no sort of doubt in anyone's mind that they are passionate, that they have what it takes to get what they want, not just go after it. Leo energy. So I feel like a lot of you guys want this person to open up. You want them to be more comfortable expressing themselves. The Seven of Swords feels like some of you may think your person is... Um, being sneaky right now, right? Um, sometimes when there is no communication, separation energy, it feels very sort of what was going on. You get suspicious, right? And so I feel like a lot of you are feeling like your person is possibly stalling or procrastinating intentionally. How you're feeling towards them right now is you, you don't necessarily trust them completely, right? There's still some of those trust issues. Yes, the devil. So some of those trust issues are still here. Those are things that you still are healing with this person. Capricorn now, there could be a Leo here connected to a Capricorn, a Leo who feels like a Capricorn is being sneaky or vice versa. There's also Aries, Sagittarius energy here. So I do feel like you guys are connected to somebody who is... um there, there, there's something here about you wanting them to open up and expecting to get like this barrage of what you consider opening up is them telling you what they've been up to and you're expecting third party BS, right? But I feel like something else is going on with this devil. Let's see. Cause, um, I feel like you guys are already expecting like, all I, all I want is them to tell the truth, right? I know they're messing with somebody else. I'm kind of picking that up. And so let's see what the devil is here for. Let's see why that's showing up. It's the two of wands, right? I feel like this person likes keeping you in the dark. I feel like they may not be doing anything too crazy, but I also feel like they have a lot of flaws and a lot of things that they need to work on that they really don't feel like opening up is going to, you know, help this connection, right? It may even turn you off from them. So there's something about your person definitely strategizing um, how they're going to open up to you, what they're going to say when they do open up to you more right some of you your person has already opened up right there is you know you've seen those gains but i do feel like that double with the two of wands is somebody who's being very strategic about how they give their energy out you want this person to be more expressive um and i feel like you have somebody who's afraid of becoming codependent on this connection afraid of becoming attached to you all right um your person has a fear we're going to get into it, but something tells me your person has a fear of being hurt themselves. Um, it's not necessarily a fear, like a karmic fear, like they're going to, you know, do me like someone else has done me. That can always, um, I mean, they're going to do me like I've done others or something like that. There's always that, you know, that can be a possibility, but something tells me your person, um, is really feeling like, you know, um, or you are feeling towards them that they have a, a significant role to play in your life and you're waiting for them to step up. And something tells me your person is afraid of letting you down. They're afraid of getting hurt. They're afraid of um they're a lot more vulnerable than you're you're seeing okay let's see why we have hope here um i like that that's here for how you guys are feeling towards your person it feels very um optimistic okay why do we have that it's the three of wands this is definitely hope um hopeful energy that three of wands feels like you guys are making every effort to you know not to, to stay focused on whatever you're manifesting. I do not want to interrupt what I'm manifesting, right? With disappointment and, you know, feelings of doubt. I feel like you guys are doing a really good job at sticking close to what it is you want and, and living the life that is going to lead you there. Um, yeah, page of wands. Um, you have hope that, you know, you're going to be, uh, this person is going to reach out soon. You have hope that this is somebody who is going to, um, 
start to loosen up. Okay. Um, the page of swords at the bottom of the deck feels like you guys are, um, you know, checking, scanning that social media, seeing what they're up to. For some of you, that's the only way to sort of connect with them. For others of you, it's, you know, sneaking in a, how's your friend doing, you know, to one of their friends, one of your mutuals. Um, and so I feel like there's this curiosity going on with you and your person. You want to know what they're up to. Okay. Um, you feel like they're up to no good. That may not be the full story. Okay. Um, but yes, that's why you need them to open up, right? So you can stop speculating. The Knight of Wands, okay, with this page. Lots of fire, okay? Aries, Sagittarius, Leo showing up very strongly in this reading. Um, Capricorn as well. So um, this is this is hope, okay? <laughs> this is um, this is, I believe in this and I am going to stay focused. I believe in us. You believe in your person. All right. You have faith that this is going to work out. You have faith that it's only going to get better. And I think that's beautiful here. The three of wands is confirming that, you know, you guys have put it out there that, you know, I'll be patient. I'll wait for my shifts to come in. Um, a lot of you are dealing with somebody who, you know, um, needs that time and that sort of patience to really get closer to you. Um, the next step is union for a lot of you, right? You've already gone through some of the other steps. And so you know that that is going to take a little bit of patience, especially coming from someone who leads with fear, especially some coming from someone who is still kind of stuck in a childish mindset of everybody I love or everybody I get used to, I get attached to something like that. And so they do need to establish their independence, the hermit. So you guys are definitely doing the inner work, okay? I feel like this hermit is when you do want to reach out, when you do want to take some action, you actually decide to do something different. I'll go out with friends. I'll find something else fun to do, right? Um, you guys feel like you are, are trying to take your attention away from micromanaging, which is really good um, because you do want to see what the universe has in store for you, Um without always sort of anticipating or expecting it, right? Eight of Wands, though. Um, I feel like <laughs> right when you guys like start to get comfortable um, retreating, um, getting quiet, uh, not responding or not reaching out to your person, that is when you will get that action from them, that communication from them. Things will start to happen, right? I feel like you know what this person is capable of, that they have something good that you want to see brought out of them. Um, you've tried Tried, right? But they have to do their part. Passion, how you're feeling towards your person. A lot of you are craving that physical intimacy. Okay. Um, I feel that a lot of you really want to be held by your person right now. A lot of you are feeling like, um, you know, you want to be comforted. If you're going through something rough in your life, if you're just, you know, looking at and thinking about all the things happening in the world, you want that comfort from a partner. Right. Um, and so you are holding on to that hope that this person becomes that for you, that they really do step up to that role here um what do we have yeah the lovers you are craving that intimacy all right you definitely are um and you guys are coming off as very passionate that's why we have all these wands right this is sexual energy too coming through right yes i want to talk to them yes i want them to open up but i also want you know the the physical i also want that passion i also want to be you know um engaged in this really um, exciting, passion-filled, action-packed romp with them or, you know, whatever. And so Gemini season is, um, you know, it's amping up for a lot of you. Some of you have recently or will soon, yeah, two of cups here, see this person, meet with this person, be with this person physically, and that will feel your needs, right? Your needs will be met. Um, I feel like you still want them to open up more and be more expressive with you, but, um, it feels like on that front, you're going to get what you want. Yeah. This is, a um, reciprocal energy. I feel like um, this person is showing you physically for a lot of you that they don't want, you know, that they want to be here. They don't want to just have you be the one giving your all. They definitely want to meet you halfway here. Um, yeah, this feels like that with that six of pentacles, like you're both craving each other. 
You are. You're both craving each other. The Nine of Cups confirmed. You both really want each other badly in this energy is coming through. And so I do feel like you guys are the ones that have been sort of in the lead with maybe making those phone calls. I really want to see you. Uh, let's go out. You know, and some of you have taken that step back, hoping that it, um, it, it inspires your person to take some action towards you with the Hermit Virgo energy. Um, I do feel like you have somebody who is craving you equally, especially for these to come out with passion. Um, you got somebody's getting their needs met for sure by their person <laughs> physically. There, there has been some really um good. Yes, look at her, <laughs> Queen of Wands. Right, you're satisfied. You're satisfied. Okay, the Knight of Cups is here. Um, some of you have been getting that really flirty energy this week. I did a um a post in the community board about how it feels like a really fir flirty, sexy, date-filled week for a lot of people. And this is exactly what I was picking up, fire signs and uh, air and water signs, right? And so a lot of you could be experiencing um, this really passionate energy from your person or you're giving out that really passionate energy to them. It feels reciprocal, but you know, you guys still feel like you're leading this thing. This Queen of Wands is um, getting more comfortable with your body seeing each other in a really intimate way I feel like what's also showing up is that a lot of you um I'm picking up because we have that six of pentacles with the nine of cups with the queen of wands all right with the lovers let's see how this looks um I don't want to say that you're using your body to get this person's attention, but a lot of you know what works, right? A lot of you know, you know, what brings your person in, what turns them on, you know, um, how to call them in and sort of speak their language so that you can get them, um, in a position to, um, to, to better understand you. So a lot of you feel very seductive. I'll just say that that devil energy is there. A lot of you feel very seductive, very lusty. So your person is definitely, uh, they're, they're falling, they're, they're falling into your trap. If you're setting traps and you know laying that out for them for them to um connect to you if you're posting like thirst traps i'm picking that up you're getting what you want right you are yes there's somebody here who recently posted like themselves in something sexy maybe something red orange purple yellow um it's getting the attention that you want from everybody but especially that person right um, I feel like you guys are coming off as that seductress or that seducer, that person that is calling in someone specific, but you don't mind if everyone else gets a little peek too. There's definitely energy here that you're feeling confident. You're feeling good about yourself. You want to be seen, but you really want that attention from that one person. All right. So how your person is feeling right now is fear. Okay. Again, not a big surprise. I'm actually going to grab another deck to see if we get some similar energies. Why do we have fear here for your person? All right, for the collective. Why are they fearful? Um, the king of swords, the usual. I'm afraid that if I open up, I'll lose this ground that I've, I've gained, um, you know, healing myself. And, um, you know, the last time I opened up, I got hurt pretty badly. Um, this person took me through the ringer and I would, it took me forever to recover and recuperate. And so I do feel like you guys are dealing with somebody who, um, has used this as a defense mechanism. Again, no surprise in the collective. Everybody's defensive. Everybody's protective, right? everybody's trying not to get hurt um in your person again capricorn energy also aquarius can also be libra and gemini but your person feels like how they're feeling is uh, afraid of of really you know um releasing uh letting those walls down and releasing those those doubts right they feel like their doubts have protected them so far from shady characters from people who don't really like them from people who may want to use them for money and so they're fearful that if they do that again they're going to get hurt if they let those guards down but the ace of swords is confirmation that they do have something they want to say to you okay your person wants to speak to you they have something coming through as honest and sincere and genuine that they really want to make clear to you. Let's see if anything comes through. They're afraid to tell you. They are so scared to tell you this. What are they afraid to tell you? All right. What's coming through? What is your person afraid to tell you? All right. The magician, how good you make them feel. 
how special you make them feel, how special they feel connecting to you and how you feel special to them too, right? I feel like your person has really benefited from um, closing themselves off from people who would use them, people who are not good for them. You are dealing with somebody who has a past, right? We all do. But your person was, I feel, tired of meeting the same types of people in different bodies. And so they're experiencing something different for you, from you, but they just want to make sure this is right, okay? They already see the impact you're having on them, how you make them feel with that Ace of Swords and Magician. Um, they feel, yes, yes, yes. The, oh, there's three. <laughs> okay, the Five of Wands, the Chariot, and the Hierophant. So the Five of Wands was a little hidden, so I did not see that. All I saw was the Chariot and the Hierophant. So what that tells me is that I feel like your person, the conflict is them. They know that they are the problem, right? They know that as soon as they sort of release these energies that you are going to be the one to hurt them, you are going to be the one that is going to break their their heart. Um, that that as soon as they release that, they know that it's full steam ahead for you guys, right? So I feel like for a lot of you, this is positive news that your person is releasing um, some of the tension that um, is they they're taking on this. They're taking this on, right? This is my problem. This is my burden that I've passed on to you or that I have um, projected onto you. And I know what I need to do now in order to move forward to you. I already feel like some of you are going into union very soon with that Hierophant. And I was feeling it just in general. The feeling of union feels very strong. That Knight of Cups is here again in a different deck. So I do feel like there's a, um, a mutual energy between you two that this is kind of like the, the lovey dovey phase of your connection. You're still interested. You're still very much intrigued by this connection and how far it can go. Right. Um, and so a lot of you have been waiting for this person to grow up. I do feel like they're almost there with the chariot and the hierophant. This is what's standing in between you, their own negative connotation of what it means to surrender to speak their truth about their feelings, to let you know how special you make them feel, to let you know how special you are to them, right? Taurus, Cancer here. So you do have somebody who I feel is um, preparing themselves to practically go into a relationship with you. And it's almost like they're they're holding on to that last, like, you know, it's like the, um, the bachelor party, or whatever. Everybody's like, this your last little, you know, get it out of your system or whatever it is, you know, because you're going into a deeper commitment. And so I feel like that's where your person is. They could be getting some things out of their system. It mainly feels like they're letting off some steam, getting some anger out, releasing some of those tensions so that when you guys do communicate and they start opening up, they are not um, projecting anything that you didn't do to them onto you, right? They're just sharing with you their experiences, why it took them so long, why they've had a hard time committing, but they don't want you to feel at, at, at fault for, you know, some of their issues that they brought into this relationship. Spark. This is how your person feels about you. Okay. So it is mutual. They are feeling that spark between you guys. I feel like this person feels that passion, the same passion that you're feeling. It's just that you're able to express yours a little more clearly. They don't want to come off as that's only that's all they want from you <laughs> for a swords here, right? They don't want to come off this spark with the four of swords. It feels like they've really been tame and trying to control themselves from um showing you too much uh how much passion they have for you, right? And so this four of swords is a calm energy. This one, this four of swords always this person always looks like they are like um, you know, dying here, right? But I feel like this is just, you know, again, your person. Um, having these really intense feelings for you, King of Cups, and it's getting close to that is, you know, it's getting to the time where it's, it's time for them to start expressing. It's time for them to start making good on some promises. It's that time. And so that King of Cups is confirmation that, um, for some of them, that spark, you know, I, I feel like they feel that pressure, that clock. Time is, 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 is ticking, you know, when, when we're going to make this happen. So they feel that pressure. Um, what else do we have with this four of swords with, um, yeah, the 10 of cups, um, how your person is feeling here about you that would, you know, what's going on. I feel like there's, um, there's an acceptance in this 10 of cups. You, um, have challenged them 
deeper, uh, more than anyone has ever challenged them. But they are, again, preparing to meet that challenge with the Ten of Cups. They are preparing to, um, you know, make this thing official here. That's another thing about that Ace of Swords and that King of Swords. That's official energy, official business. Um, a lot of you do have somebody, Nine of Pentacles, who has been getting their ducks in a row, right? Um, if I'm really going to go into a commitment, I got to start deleting people. I got to start, you know, um, uh, rearranging some things in my life. And so that's a realistic place to be right um when you guys start talking to somebody and you start liking them more you start getting more and spending more time with them um you know some people start deleting numbers some people start turning down invitations to social events nine of pentacles i feel like this is your person establishing themselves first as an individual entity making it clear that you know um i'm, I'm not um at this time attached to anyone officially but it, it's about to get there and they're, they're i feel like they are are panicking nine of swords they already know what's coming they feel that pressure the three of cups here um a lot of them know you know um, there's some, uh, the spark here, uh, you know, they know they're going to be tested, right? Um, with that three of cups energy, they know that they're going to, um, encounter past people. They know that they can possibly, um, get a message from somebody from the past. This is them, you know, feeling like they're ready to take on the task of being in a committed, responsible relationship by first establishing themselves individually and getting themselves healthy. The nine of swords with the three of cups is what if I, what, what if I, um, uh, fall short again, right? What if I, um, you know, have these, uh, connections, uh, you know, what if I don't cut these people off and then they return and then I'm back in square one. So your person really does feel like they are doing work that you don't know about. Um, high priestess, they're turning down offers. They feel like they are, you know, deleting numbers. I don't know why that's coming through so specifically, but it feels like they're deleting numbers. And some of them are like, here goes, you know, they're, they're afraid of that too. Right. Um, they're definitely feeling that pressure though, that it's time to, um, meet you halfway balance. All right. They've been resisting long enough. They've been, um, rejecting, denying, in denial long enough. It is time to take those steps. Page of Cups, baby steps, but to take those steps here. And so I feel like that Page of Cups with balance is your person wanting to go slow. Um, not too slow. You know, you guys have already been doing that for some of you. That Page of Cups is not slow, slow, but it's definitely an energy of you deserve my attention, my full attention. Now you, you deserve more communication you deserve a little bit more emotional expression from me don't expect a lot this queen of swords is here but you guys do feel like you're getting more cuddles you're getting more cute texts you feel like you're gonna start getting more messages from this person right um i was just thinking about you um let's you know asking you out on a date here with justice right um a lot of them are, are have marriage on the mind the higher font and justice shows up in their <laughs> messaging right you guys got like the devil and the lover but um they're serious okay um and the eight of swords okay um a lot of you you know your person is is terrified of what this means right they're excited about it but they're also terrified but they want you badly queen of wands the star i love this because the queen of wands is the only court card to show up for you guys in your reading um not the only you have some pages and you had a night but i feel like this is representing you guys right um they're responding to that intense passionate energy signal that you're sending out they are responding Okay. Um, they are also in their heads about this. They are also over analyzing this, but it doesn't feel like it's stopping them. You guys may be mirroring each other soon. So if you're starting to post things and feel more confident in yourself, you may see your person start to take more of a social media presence, right? The star here, right? You're going to start noticing that, um, people are asking about you, right? You guys look good together or starting to see you guys as, um, you know, this really like idealistic the couple or something like that and so i feel like that's a whole nother territory that both of you are trying to prepare for nine of wands is preparation energy um it gives off this relationship is you know about to be official and i have to like sort of get everything all the people you know it, it's it's just like with you um 
you know, who have you been talking to outside of your person, right? Who have you been dealing with, right? And do you plan to still communicate with them if you guys make it official? Like, these are the things that are happening, right? Um, You guys are seriously thinking about that. It is coming through. So mutually, again, there's nostalgia. There's good memories. There's affection, okay? Um, I'm going to grab another deck just to see what um, sort of... Um, energies we get here but i do feel like this is self-explanatory you guys have somebody who is thinking of you often and you are thinking of them too i love that your mutual energies are memory security and healing okay so this feels like you're both doing things to make each other feel a little bit more secure oh you had a problem with me having a picture on my page uh with me with some with an ex I'll, I'll delete that. I'll archive that. Whatever, right? Um, I feel like you're both being more sensitive to each other. Um, yeah, king of coins. I feel like you are um, reminding yourselves of what brought you here in the first place. Uh, you saw something in each other. King, queen energy, divine counterpart energy. You saw something in each other. Um, and I feel like there's something about going back to when you first felt it felt when you first met each other, how you first felt about each other, that is going to start to resurface, right? This is exactly how it felt before things got complicated, before things got confusing, right? This is exactly how it felt. Magical. All right. The magician here with the king of coins, uh, earth showing up, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. All right. So, um, mutually you guys do see each other as the counterpart you are seeing they are seeing you as your person yeah you are seeing them as their person i felt that ten of pentacles i felt that so i do feel like mutually you are seeing each other the way you know walking down the aisle for some of you you know living together for others of you you know whatever the, combining coming into union joining as a team as a unit you guys are both feeling that all right security let's see why that's here um, this really feels like, <laughs> let's see what comes through. Hmm. Page of swords. Social media has been our modern day problem for certain relationships and the page of swords showing up with security. Somebody has said, you know, um, I just want to make sure that, you know, <laughs> somebody wants to be featured on your person's page or you want people to know who you are to them or something like that. I feel like that's a conversation coming. Um, I feel like you both want to be the person that um, other people, like you both want to be known as your person's person. The page of swords feels like you both have found ways to sort of dance around this issue, maybe making little smart comments to each other. Um, but I feel like there's, there's something that really wants to be said here. And it's, please claim me, right? Please, you know, respect me and I, I'm respecting you or something like that. Um, with the page of swords, Gemini energy, again, three of pentacles, right? Um, all right, you, you clean up your social media. I'll clean up mine. The security showing up feels like it has something to do with both of you wanting the same things, but being afraid to say it, right? Um, you know, a lot of you here are afraid to say, um, you know, why don't you put me on your page or why don't you let people know you're in a relationship? something like that. That conversation is coming because that's the only way I, these are your mutual energy. So that's the only way both of you are going to feel secure is if you both understand that, you know, yes, we, we are doing our thing, but at some point, you know, we have to make it known. All right. We have to let people know that three of pentacles together. We have to come out together. Yes. That we are together. The lovers, right. That, and, and that's fair. All right. Both of you want that recognition from one another. Both of you want to know that this is exclusive. I feel exclusive energy healing. Um, also, for the uncertainty that's been going on, you know, in the collective, that'll clear up a lot of a mess. Right. A lot of confusion. Right. Make it known what we are up to. <laughs> OK. 
What is this healing? That'll that'll help heal our wounds. Both of us. Yes, the three of swords. That will help heal our broken hearts, right? You got played before. I got played before. But if we're both going to, you know, be honest and keep it real with one another, then let's respect each other publicly as well as privately. And so I feel like this conversation, just because the time that we're in is centering around social media, it doesn't have to. You guys may not be having that conversation about post me, you know, but there is a conversation around security. I want to know that we are together, that I am the choice, you are my choice, and that we are going to heal each other's, continue our healing uh, our healing process, healing each other's broken hearts, loving each other, treating each other with love and affection and kindness and care. Queen of Cups here. Why do we have this uh, Three of Swords with healing? It's the Knight of Coins, all right? Um I feel like your mutual energies towards each other with healing is that um, some of you are going to make it known to your person that you felt unwanted when they procrastinated, when they dragged their feet, right? You felt it made you feel unwanted. And some of them may make that's when they may open up and say, well, I felt unwanted, you know, Knight of Pentacles energy when, you know, you put your career before me or you told me that, you know, um, you were mainly focused on like it's something they heard you say and you didn't think about it. You didn't think anything of it, but it, they took it personal. They, you know, they personalized it. They internalized it and they kept that as the reason why they didn't commit to you sooner. And so I feel like that comes out. Right. Why they were hurt versus why you were hurt, why they were possibly procrastinating, pro possibly procrastinating versus why you felt like you couldn't trust them. And so you had to take your time with them. I feel like that gets worked out. Let me see <laughs> where this goes. I got judged. I got the world here. Yeah, there's some sort of closure about a situation um, that both of you are going to be happily wrong about eight of pentacles right um i feel like um a big part of this yeah the will of fortune things are really about to change in a big positive way for this connection um i feel like you guys are um going to experience a lot of good positive feelings of feeling blessed right i feel like this healing process with the three of swords the knight of pentacles the eight of pentacles is that equal effort right um again that conversation of this is why this is why I felt unwanted by you this is why I didn't think that you wanted to be with me something like that and I feel like the eight of pentacles is that agreement let's work on this together right I'm gonna do more on my part and you're gonna agree to do more on your part and together we are going to get to where we need to be which is where we're all trying to get to right union hierophant justice the star with the person we're supposed to be with. All right. So that is what I have for you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. That is your general message. Um, thank you so much. Um, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. And if you're interested in a personal reading with me, check out the details in the description box.